or he's the ultimate amphibious predator. So I'm curious, what do you think about Persona 5? Here's another example of uh, having Burrow at this stage is being very useful. Just turn Ori into a drill. And, ah, just needed to be faster. Have you played the remake to know that? Oh no, not quite. Wow, you really do have to be fast. Arr, what? Why can't I get through that in time? Oh, whoops. I don't know. Developers can do all kinds of interesting things. You never know how long FF7 Remake will be. Uh, don't want, don't want that. Let's go back to this. Let me game. Okay, say game. Let me through. Okay, so I could not figure out how to break this log earlier, and it turns out you're not supposed to break it. You're supposed to go around through here and have burrow. I'll take that gore like gore. All the obstacles in our way. Mosquitoes never stood a chance against our hammer. Huh. Again, I didn't play Persona 5, but I'll be honest with you, the writing didn't seem all that great to me. It seemed very B-tier anime to me. Too predictable in a lot of places. There were a couple times when, like, I appreciated how it uh, how it talked about um, some complex personal and social issues that are going around. Yeah, like the themes were interesting, but the writing itself wasn't like super incredible. Also, like, I just, I hate Ryuji. I hate his entire character. Like, he's literally the reason the, the Phantom Thieves got into trouble on several occasions. And especially, like, the beginning of the game was just not interesting. I don't know who those other two characters are. Yeah, like, they were very cardboard cutouts of, you know, a typical character archetype. I'm just saying I hated him. I didn't like him at all. Like, I've seen that type of character done better. Done with slightly more sense. Ah.
Ah, I see. Uh, let's see. So we have Water Dash. We've pretty much cleaned out the Luma pools. So we're free to pretty much go anywhere else that we want to go now. And I think I know exactly where to head next. I'm not the biggest Persona fan. Ever since I saw 3 had people like shooting themselves in the head to release their personas, I was like, you know what? No thanks. This doesn't look wholesome or entertaining in the slightest. <laughs> but that's just me. That's my personal tastes. I didn't think it was terribly great. And so that sort of poisoned me against the whole series. I tried Persona 5 because a friend of mine told me I should check it out. Several friends of mine, actually. <laughs> Still wasn't the biggest fan. Also, towards the end, they faked a character's death twice. Like, when Ryuji uh, was, like, like the explosion went off and he was hanging there and then he, like, it's like, oh no, he died, and then he didn't. And the girls got mad and slapped him and all that, and I was like, okay. Like, I figured, I, like, I figured that was going to be the case. But then it just got straight up annoying when they did the same thing with Morgana. And I was just like, come on now. I just didn't really appreciate the writing. And I mean, that was that's just one example. I can't think of every example of why I wasn't the biggest fan while I'm playing this game simultaneously, I'm just saying. Instances like that did not help. Why are you back? Get out of here. Huh. Humanity's desire for death, a tendency for people to have a or a pop up block like this, it's an ancient. Can I need to imagine an ending? Eh. Eh. Oh, I see. I have to beat those. Okay. Wait, what am I doing? That's weird. Why am I doing this? Okay, I wanted to get that. I cleared through that. Oh, I was going down. I thought there was something up there, though, like some purpose to releasing the bubbles, but I guess there isn't a purpose to that. That's strange. Because, yeah, there's nothing up here but spikes. Why am I really... Yeah, what's the point in the bubbles, then? That's weird. Why would the game do that? Led me to believe there was treasure, but there wasn't treasure. <coughs> Ow. I should probably heal. Before I get killed for reading chat too much.
I don't know, man. Persona just isn't my thing, really. The writing in the latest one hasn't inspired any change in that opinion. But that's just me. There are lots of people who like the series. And if you're one of those people, that's fine. There's no shame in it. I'm just saying it's not my style. Is this where is this thing it says is up here it says there's something up here where is it what <laughs> let's go ahead and dig through here then this poor guy. Whoa. Okay, just spikes beneath that, huh? Alright, game. You do you. I suppose. Hmm. I heard Persona 4 wasn't that great. But then again, this is coming from someone who's only hearing this from friends and such and has no actual experience with the game himself, so. I get back up there. Jeez. Game's not making it easy for me. There we go. So where is this thing I'm missing? Is it down in the... the water over there? How do I get it? I don't like leaving things behind. This is my 100% run. I will be perfectionist. So how do we get down there then? I'm trying to find any entrance into that and I can't. I can see how that would, you know, that would make it a favorite. You know, if you're if you have life circumstances similar to a character in something, you're bound to remember it. So I guess that's fair. Again, no shame on anybody who likes the Persona series. I'm just saying, it's not my cup of tea. Is all. Where in the world is this entrance to this one thing? What's the deal here? So it should be somewhere over there, right? But oh, where? Ah, oh, well, that's not where. Oh, that was, well, that was bad. Oh my gosh, it's right here, but I swear I checked this wall. Okay, fine. Or maybe I got this and then died afterwards? Huh. 
Well, whatever. I have it now. Uh, going down. That's probably what happened. By any chance, have you ever heard of uh, Murder, She Wrote, or Diagnosis Murder? Some old TV shows from like the 90s. Or maybe Monk? I used to watch those sorts of murder mystery things. I used to watch them all the time. And... Is this a battle gauntlet? What's going on here? Basically, I started to see lots of tricks that uh, that authors used in murder mysteries. Like, I stopped watching those shows a while ago because I started to see a lot of the tricks they used. There we go. They started to get a little repetitive, like people mentioning things that they couldn't have known unless they were the criminal or something like that. Old tricks like that, you know, they, they just, they reused them eventually after a while. And I started to get used to them and I started to spot them right away. And that's actually almost what happened with uh, Goro Akechi in Persona 5. I was like, wait a minute. It's like, he was suspicious right from the beginning. But like, he, my point is, it wasn't much of a mystery. And as soon as, and as soon as I sort of pieced that together, the whole thing with, uh, like, I didn't know the details of their plan. But like, it just sort of came together that Joker was in prison on purpose once I started suspecting things. I was like, you know, what if he's there on purpose? And then it was just like... The mystery sort of got unraveled because, in my opinion, it was a little too simple. That's part of the reason I called it B-tier writing. Because it's just like between the anime logic and the... Ugh. and the uh, the murder mystery stuff that I'd kind of already seen. It was just like, yeah, this is nothing new at all. Like, I mean, I can also tell it was clearly written for teenagers, so. Perhaps it would be one, you know, marvelous to them, but I didn't think it was anything special. So I've already have to actually figure it out yourself. Hmm. I may look into Persona 4 then. You seem to be recommending it quite highly, Avalon, so perhaps I'll check it out, though. I mean, I've already checked out Persona 5, so why not? We'll see. That's something I'll do much, much later, because I've already... Now that I've done Persona 5, I'm like, that was a long, long bit, you know, that was a long watch, so not in a hurry to do another one. Not so soon. Hmm.
that is good to hear. I have already been here. So why is the side quest not completed? That seems weird. But I'll go there again just to complete it. I mean, Persona 5 wasn't all bad. Like, the art style was interesting, if nothing else. The music wasn't very good at first, but it got better. And so, like, it wasn't all bad. It was just, like, I just didn't appreciate the, the story. Especially at the end, it felt very, very forced. Because every, you know... Every good Japanese RPG has to have you taking down a god at the end, right? I'm positive I've already done this. Why is the side quest still here? I mean, I'll beat it again just because I can. If it is shorter, like you say, then, like I said, maybe I'll check it out eventually, but having just got through with Persona 5, I think I've had enough Persona for a while. Sweeping motion, Zori. Good work. Hammer those mosquitoes. Uh. There we go. Why is the side quest marker still there? I already completed it though. I'll take the extra spirit light, that's fine, but. Huh. stock on everything here and since I'm down here I may as well clean up that one spot on the map that's over there I seem to be doing just fine with only the hammer it's my weapon here I, but I need just sl a little bit more damage it looks like in order to kill in one hit for certain enemies This is the wrong place. Wrong way. Go down here and grab this. Got one hit kills on all the lower level enemies, but what I'm looking for... Yeah, I need to go up a bunch more. Oh, 
let's see. Oh. Let's get rid of this. We'll see. It's stuff to look into later, but... Like I said, I'm very done with Persona right now. It's still not high enough. Man. This place is gigantic. I can't remember where things are anymore. I'm losing my mind here. I'm just trying to find places. Ashamori. Aw, oh, not quite enough to grab the vine. Huh. Okay, so up there somewhere. That's what it, there it is. Need something that'll let us go high, and we already have something that will do that for us. Launch will work, or we can just do this. Excellent. <coughs> All right. So what else is there? Ah, that's right. We have to go this way. Clean out whatever's in there, too. So many different ways to go now. Oh, gosh. What should I warp to? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go here because we need to talk to the little Moki again anyway. Smashing those exploding guys and regretting it all the time, aren't I? I think so. So anyway, do you... Is Persona 5 Royal out, Avalon? Like, do you know what kind of an expansion it is? Because, you know, since I just watched it, I'm kind of curious. <laughs> really? Wow. Okay. Interesting. energy cell? Right there? Huh? Oh, here it is. Wow. Boy, that's actually really well hidden. I would have never seen that if it hadn't shown up on the map. Don't pet too hard because he doesn't like that. Wow. Oh. Also, it just then gave me the prompt for the energy fragments. Okay, cool. I'll take this. And what else? Life cell down there? Gotta have that. Especially since we are low on life. Ah. 
more social links. More palaces. Oh, <laughs> but what matters is petting Morgana. Okay, well. If you say so. I was just curious what was in it. Or if anyone knew yet. Oh. oh, I can break it from below. Okay, well that's good. That's good that I can break it from below. That would have been kind of silly if I couldn't. So the first time I played this game, I actually cheesed my way up here. I mean, you're not supposed to come this way at first. There we go. More energy. Always welcome. Oh, and these guys. Deflector works really good on them. Their own shots hurt them really bad. Please swing, Ori. 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 Anytime you want to actually attack Ori, that'd be great. There we go. Oh my gosh. Enemies interrupting my hammer swing. Maybe I will have to switch back to Spirit Edge at some point. So who's your favorite character in that game? Do you have a favorite? Because <laughs> I already mentioned I didn't like Ryuji, but I suppose I should at least say who I do like then. Time. No rush. Ah, oh, I should have used one of those. One of those guys. It's fine. I can just do this. I think I may or may not have gone through that area backwards. I mean, I'll take it either way. Looks like we're more or less done here. Except for that. That's right. To do the race, we have to have... Yeah. We had to have Bash, and we didn't have it at the time. As well as Grapple. Okay. Well, here's the start of the race. Someone you relate to, but you don't like. Okay. No, I can understand that. <coughs> so we broke this earlier so I can get in here. I actually didn't like Anne that much. I 
I think my favorite characters were, uh... Probably Makoto and Futaba, just because they were smart. They were actually intelligent, which is like the opposite of Ryuji. Also, Morgana was not that bad. Yeah, that makes sense. I know what you mean. That's always the thing, but we gotta... Gotta grow past just that at some point. So, we have a race that we can now compete in. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with Anne's character. There's nothing bad about it. It's just... She wasn't my favorite, is all. And this race looks like a pain. Here we go. That's right. So I've done this one before. Kindly stopped the rotating hammers. That's very nice. Okay. Well, I know the path now. Not going to be able to get a good ranking, but... Yeah, no, I don't hold anything against, you know, people like Ryuji either. I just, I just don't like that, and I just don't like his character, like. It's just, it's just terrible, like, how many times they got in trouble because of him. It just bugged me a lot. It's just like, seriously, why does no one talk about how this guy, like, these are supposed to be teenagers, right? And yet, they're not acting entirely like teenagers. <coughs> and that they're not fighting amongst themselves very much at all. And real teenagers do, in fact, fight amongst themselves a good bit so <coughs> I don't know it just felt almost too mature and too adult for actual teenagers for that for such a diverse group to get along that easily <coughs> yeah I mean not everybody's a fighter but I'm just saying for such a diverse group to get along that easily it seemed a little, a little convenient from time to time. Oh, what? Grab it. Ori, what'd you do that for? Yeah, no, just gonna, <laughs> just gonna go ahead and take it. Nope. On second thought, I have so much health, it's not going to kill me very fast, so never mind. there was a way to reset easily anyway is there a way I can just leave the course and it will reset abandoning trial yes I want to abandon it yes thank you you try it to actually remember my lasso a little bit more. Come on. Oh my gosh.
and I beat him anyway. Yes, I was so behind. I messed that up so bad and still won. Nice. Oh, wow. Hi there, leaderboard. <coughs> Apparently, this can be done better. Huh. Interesting. I bet as soon as I imp if I improved that time, it would just. Now I'm curious. What's the fastest time anyone's ever got? Apparently, apparently I was really close to everyone's fastest time. Wow, that actually makes me want to do even better. That's weird. Oh no, no, there's my no, there's my ranking. It's like seven thousand eight hundred something. Never mind. Never mind. Yep, I have made history. Good enough. <coughs> yeah, seven, yeah, 78,000. That, I could do that a whole lot better if I really tried, but I'm not interested in competing with the entire world for a trophy. I am, however, interested in that energy cell that I left down there. And the race that's down there. I am very interested in that. <clears throat> so I need to go down. There's an empty room I haven't checked out. That's the wrong way. Oh my gosh. Down further, and then this way. Right? Down even further. This is a secret path. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was close. There we go. Quick shot. Ah, oh, I could have had this a long time ago. Ugh. That's one of the arc power-ups I wanted. Ow. Man, that's rough, even with dash. Like, wow. Yikes, that's tough. Okay. But well, we got it. That'll make arc actually really effective. Yeah, here we go. Now we're talking. Starting to get pretty powerful. Like, I've got a lot of life and energy already. Ow, hey. Hello there, spikes. Careful there, little enemy. Spikes are sharp. Here we go. Now let's see. Let's see what place I get on this. As I was 70, 78,000 on the other one. How? What will I be able to do here? Place your bets. Over or under the previous number. That is, of course, after I actually beat it at all. I am 
am going the right way, right? Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, I beat it. What do you know? How'd I do? Oh. How did I do? Game. Why? There we go. Ah, I did better. Now I'm 74,000 on this one. And that wasn't even the best performance I could have done on that either. Hey, that's an improvement by 4,000, Avalon. That's an improvement by 4,000 places. I will take it. Okay. Well, we have a ton of money now. <coughs> Let's go spend some of it. I have not really needed to farm at all. That's actually a very good thing. As long as you do 100%, you don't need to grind at all to get Spirit Light. Because they give you so much. Let's just upgrade everything. I still didn't have enough for everything. I still need a bunch more. But I did complete a bunch of stuff with that. <coughs> huh. Oh, that's true. I did get another seed. That's true. I should probably put that in. It's See which one it is. What? Ah, yeah, here we go. This will make getting around easier. That is <coughs> fair. Let's see. What else can we do? How many... How much Gorlick Ore do I have? Four. Okay. Not enough to do anything. Alright, I need two more. Before I can open up the cave. Not that I'm anywhere near being ready to open it up. So that's fine. There is that barrier. I thought I already broke, but... Oh, that's right. I can dig through the sand there. Okay. More stuff to do. Hammer now releases spikes. So that'll be fun. Yeah, I already came down here. Why did it mark this entrance as not open yet? Because it is open. Huh. That's weird. <clears throat> this burrow to the sand and get life got another heart piece I mean life cell fragment More st yeah, there we go. I knew there was something I was missing. <coughs> There's 
definitely more to this to the glades that I haven't explored yet. I knew it. Just have to get up there. There we go, and this helps me get up there. Here we are. This is where I wanted to be because this is here. Nice. <clears throat> it's a good trade off if you're looking to farm, but shouldn't need to do that. But it's, uh, of course, a collectible, so worth getting. Almost got them all. I'm only missing three. Wow, I'm only missing three shards already. Got pretty good coverage on everything. Let, yeah, let's let me start taking a look at things. I've got a hundred percent of midnight burrows, so that's finished. Ninety-nine percent on Inkwater Marsh. Why only ninety-nine percent? If it's this, then that's bugged. <clears throat> Ninety-nine percent. Well, I guess I can go here in the meantime. Yeah, go back and figure this, figure that out. Branch change. I'm honestly curious. Like, petrified branch. He gave this to us, and then we didn't do anything with it, really. And now he's just giving us the seed? Okay. You know what? I'll take it. Not sure I understand what changed, but whatever. So, sadly, that uh, Moki we helped earlier went back and decided to get petrified with his family. It's pretty dark, but that's fine because death is not permanent in this universe. But we'll need this ore. So this actually keeps track of everything here. Like all the different projects we have still to do, all the side quests and everything, it's all tracked here. So I'd say we're about halfway through with the side quests and such, but we still have a lot to do. Grab this energy cell up here. So we have this. Some spirit light over there. Go ahead and grab that too, because why not?
If I can find it, that is. Up here, in the corner, what? Is it at? It says there's spirit light right there, but where? Oh, here we go. Ha ha! We'll put the amulet here. That's another side quest completed. Yeah, okay, we don't have to go back and talk to him or anything. This area is gray, which means we didn't go up there. Which means we should go back there. Yeah, Luma Pools is almost finished. Yeah, I, now I really want to go back there. Because that's probably the rest of it right there. There, okay. Hmm. I actually want to push this bubble aside a bit. Ah, not that much though. Patience. talking also that's six we can open up those caves whenever we want that should be why is it 99% though Urgh. what do you mean 99% as far as I can tell I've been everywhere but of course this map isn't really truly complete is it there's whole sections that are just not on the map, so I wouldn't know for sure. That's why it's frustrating to not have the map show everything like it should. The wellspring's not even technically done. Oh, speaking of the wellspring, we have a race to do there too, don't we? Well... May as well. This whole... This whole day has been a day for races. most efficient way to get over there. Is it just a jump? Maybe it is. Hmm. It's not the way you're supposed to go. Ugh. What sort of challenge is this? So you go through there, go out through here, jump across there, somehow make it, oh wow, oh these wheels are different and they're spinning really fast now. Oh my. This looks like a nasty one, okay. Okay. Well, take your bets. 
higher or lower than my previous placing. <clears throat> I'm surprised by how generous this is being right now. Also, this music is really, really good. Game, please. Height on the jump, please. Ori. Ori, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, I can't see because that, that background was so bright, I couldn't. I started out so good. What? Okay. I started out so good, and then that one jump because I couldn't see what it was locking onto anymore. Because that bright blue background there was messing me up. Oh, that was a dumb move. That was very dumb. That was bad. I wish they just gave us the option to just retry immediately. Lock onto this one, and lock onto that one, and lock onto this one. Oh, wow. I started out really bad, and now it looks like I'm about to win. That's not good. That means I could have done better, which means what is my placing going to be? Where am I? Yeah, that turned out to be easier than I thought. Oh, wow, I did so awful. 83,000 now. Ew. You know what, just for fun, why not? I did so bad in the beginning. <coughs> oh my gosh, there's a ton of them now. I can now see the, the top place. Hey, grab on, lasso. Or at least the places near me. I don't know if these are top places. Oh no! Grab onto the right one, Ori. Please, the right one. Ori, come on! What's with this? The back. I can't. I physically can't get out of this. Wow. Wow. That's just bad. If you don't make that, that last jump is really tight. And if you mess up, you're in trouble. Also, I'm having trouble telling which one I am. That's not good. Up, game. Please stop doing weird things with the momentum. Ori, why? Mm, that's irritating. 76, but that could have been so much better. Ugh, suddenly I'm getting so competitive over this. All because, I swear, it's the, the lasso is not consistent here. Lasso is not being nice. <laughs> and 
and now suddenly there's only my own ghost to worry about. Only barely, barely getting past my previous time. Now I'm, now I'm doing well. Now I'm doing worse. Never mind, because the the momentum is not consistent. Oh, that's so irritating. I'm just gonna take the death. I don't even care. Don't even care. That is so inconsistent. It's bothering me. This is why I didn't want to get competitive about this. I do like this music, though. Please, Ori. Why? Why? Ori, come on. The knockback is annoying, to say the least. Oh no, okay. That's not good. You can't recover from that! Ugh, that is so obnoxious! As soon as I beat this record, I'm not ever, ever going to do this again. Wait, I hit retry. Game! I swear, now the game's just not reading my inputs out of spite. Make one mistake and it's just over. And there's no way for me to just hit retry. There is no retry button. Until you die. It's just obnoxious. Come on. I swear I pressed the button and grabbed onto it. I really wish there was a faster ra way to reset. Like, seriously. I really wish there was a faster way to reset. There just isn't. Please, do what you're told for once. Why is it locking onto that one? Why is it locking onto that one and not the one in front of me? Also, the knockback from Spikes is just garbage. Ugh. I am really hating Lasso right now, because it is just not working at all the way it's supposed to. done already with this one, but I can't die 
I can't quickly die or reset. To go all the way down here to even get a reset. Please. Ugh. So frustrating. Never mind being able to see which one I am. There we go. Now I'm starting to do okay, but hold on. It's not over till it's over. And for once, it decided to work perfectly, so I may actually stand a chance. Finally, it worked perfectly. Wow. Okay. So where am I now? Wow. 2540. That's really good. I'm going to take that and never do this again. I do wonder if there's a prize for first place, though. Still, just gonna take that. Just gonna take it and go. Ugh. That was frustrating. Just because Lasso didn't want to lock onto the right targets and have nice, consistent momentum that sent me up high enough to get the next target. Ugh. Okay. So what's next? I think at this point we've done everything there is to do except more of this. We could make it up further into that, but we'd only hit the door. Yeah, I guess it's time for Moldwood. Time to go into the depths of darkness. <coughs> oh, wait. After we plant a tree. Hold up. We got the seed. We need to plant it. some upgrades while we're right here. Oh, and just a little two. Two, hold on. Two spirit money shy? Give me a second. Now we're not. Gonna cut her. What pan no? There. Finished with mastering all the different skills and <coughs> on top of that, we'll get another 25% damage from this spirit tree right here. I will take that. Give me that damage up. Ugh. Excellent. More power.
<laughs> okay. Now. Now we can go down into the depths. Boy, I wish I had known I could warp from anywhere I wanted in my first playthrough. That would have saved so much time. Yep, straight across. Already went up there. Yep. Been everywhere around here. Good. Did go up there already? Yes. Yeah. Already did everything up here, so... Throw that enemy away. Still yeeting enemies to this day. I'll take this additional life cell. That will be helpful. I now have 15 on both sides. 15 on both sides of the spectrum. That's Here we go. Now on to Moldwood. Darkness that skitters and bites. This particular area. Oh, there's the last arc shard. That's good. Be able to show it off in the next boss. Show off how crazy strong it is. This area is probably the most disturbing in my mind. With all the bugs around. I hate bugs. Ew, bugs. However, thankfully, we have pretty much all the other abilities in the game, so this place should be much easier than it was on my first run. Just in terms of getting around, it shouldn't be that hard. Lasso is at least consistent enough help us out here.
This is where all manner of insects apparently come to die. Not a pleasant place. This is that piece of terrain that disappeared on us earlier. So the darkness will kill us <coughs> if we stay in it for too long. So we need to follow the sources of light around to keep from perishing. I wonder if I can get this piece of terrain to just glitch out again. Sometimes it feels like working, sometimes it doesn't. I wonder what the race in this area is going to be like. Actually, I have no idea. Kind of curious. I guess it could be worse. This darkness could be full of Zubats instead. How do I jump high enough to catch this? There we go, finally. protruding wings and pieces. It's so disturbing. Especially on your first visit. Out of here. Silly spider. This messed me up for a while. This particular puzzle right here. I didn't realize the answer was once you've cleared out all of this, the light shines through these and you can go down the path below. That one messed me up for a bit. I need to get up. There we go. Let's 
the spider. Right back at ya. Oh man, another nest. I'll take that. That worked out nicely. Our extra damage is paying off. 25% more damage is great. Means we can kill things really easily. There we go. Get deflected. Hmm. Let's heal up all our damage. Have a look at our map and see where are we going. Uh, looks like we've just got to make a choice. Okay. Ooh, almost died there. This is one of those areas we're definitely going to be exploring after we've, uh... After we've completed this... After we've gotten rid of the darkness by completing the area, because... Trying to explore this area while the darkness is still here is just not a good idea. Also, can't go through here. Great. But it's good to remember that that's there. So later on, we'll be able to go through there. Ah! Oh, what? Hey, now. clue where I'm going. Also, wow, apparently all the way back here, huh? Man. Darkness all over the place. So apparently down there is not the direction to go in. So where is the direction to go in? Well, actually, maybe it is. We may actually need arc here. Nope. You can settle for light ball. Or light burst. As you please. Here we go. Need keystones, okay. Keystone hunting again. Uh oh. Don't get too far away from us now. This leads us back. Oh, yeah. Well, we have two keystones. That's fine. There we go. 
I keep thinking there's more keystones than there is, but the, there's only two for each of the doors in here. Taking me the wrong way. Oh. actually have to go up in order to get back down again. Well, that's messed up. Also, there's something right over there. <coughs> we'll get that in a minute. First things first. save. Ah, oh, so close. I was hoping I could cheese that a little bit. But we need to bring this along with us anyway, I suppose. Revenge on these spiders in a bit. Once it's not dark everywhere, those spiders won't have the upper hand anymore. So let's go this way this time. We found the race's starting point. <coughs> That's a step in the right direction. What we really need is Flash. Come on, I forget which HM it is. somewhere though there we go just had to get rid of that guy um fly no flash has got to be nearby we've proceeded pretty deep into this place not have flash Or I grab that energy. I 
forget where it actually is. Ah, well, here's the map guy. I have my gun. Let me, let me move some. Somehow this guy made it all the way down here. Ah, and here it is. There's the tree right there. So I need to find a way to get over that way. I knew it. I knew it wasn't that far. Also, apparently he made it out. <laughs> so where am I supposed to go from here now that I've got the map? Where to go? What? Oh, you know, here we go. Okay, I get it now. I just have to be on the other side of the leg or antenna or whatever this is. Here we go. This way. This is the way. Now we're talking. We're much closer. It's just ahead. I think I can make it from here, though. Or can I? Can I just charge through here? Well, might as well find out. Nope. Didn't make it very far at all. Yeah, there's definitely gonna need to be a light bug or something with us to get flash. And here it is, I'll bet you this is it. There we go. <laughs> Yeesh, this place is super creepy. But we made it to the tree. embraces her in her Pokemon and gains Flash. Now, if only this stopped Zubats from bothering trainers. Well, I mean, it was useful for nav navigating those dark caves. It, yeah, but if only it got rid of, like, all the Zubats and things plaguing you. That would have been better. Like, if it was actually a repel on top of lighting up caves, that might actually be okay. Anyway, Flash for Ori is a good thing. And it's only the worst move if you consider that it's not very useful outside of this dungeon. But it projects a dangerous light field all around us, so now the darkness can no longer hurt us and enemies are hurt just by being near us. So, it's extremely good for Ori. The only 
small price to pay is that it continuously drains our energy in small amounts, but that's not so bad. Actually, hold up. I missed something back there, and I don't like missing things in a 100% playthrough. What's this up here? Ah, here we are. Much better. I'll take this. <coughs> Spirit Surge. All right. That part's all cleaned out, and also, there's only one more ability left that I don't have. Only one. I don't know where that shard is, but shouldn't be that hard to get. Well, whatever's up there, might as well get that. If we can. Ooh, maybe I can't get it. Uh -oh. What's this? How do I get up the... Oh, man, I have to actually go the long way around? Oh, okay. As you wish. As you wish, game. We'll go a long way around. Oh! Hey, here's the race's end. We found both both ends of it now. So once this area is clear, we can actually do the race. not die in the process. Although I suppose technically I could just use Flash. Okay, so the race apparently starts here. Oh wow, it's a it must be a super short race then. If we just get through here, go around here, yeah. That's not a very long race. Hmm. That might be fun, after we clear this area. Also, it looks like we'll be starting the next e the next stream with that, because after we beat this area, there's not going to be much time left, so... We'll be ending shortly. Yeah, just going to beat this area and probably call it a night. And then next time we will wrap up Ori 100%. Take that life cell fragment. Oh, apparently there's another one up over there. Jeez. It's a lot, game. Should have known about that sooner. So how do I get there? Yeah, it's just down in this way. Okay. I see it now.
less I have to come back for later, the better. Also, I'm running short on energy here. Anytime, game. And, yep. Apparently just going this way. Oh, maybe not. Wrong way. Could use some energy now. There we go. There we go. There's some energy. Yes. That's what I want to see. There we go, that's some more energy too. Excellent. Just gotta confirm where I'm actually going. Oh, oh there we go. Okay. Triple jump being super useful in this place again. Saving up for triple is definitely the right move to make in the beginning. I am very glad I did that. Sheer amount of maneuverability I have now is just excellent. Man, this place gave me so much trouble the first time, the first time through. Now it is far less of a problem. I am very happy with the choices I've made. Yeah, yeah, you can do things way more efficiently. They are more fun. That's why I couldn't wait to play this one. Ori 2 is definitely an excellent game, a worthy successor to the first one. There we go, there's the seed. There's the seed for this area, excellent, excellent. So, playing it has been Pretty fun, so far. Like, despite how frustrated I was at the races earlier, that was just because I was pitting myself against other people to try and get the best score. And I did okay, it was just that Lasso was being obnoxious, so. Anyway. Leave. This is it. Yeah, we can break through the wall on this side. <coughs> and once we do that, we'll have access to the save point. Yep. And then it's boss time. We will wrap up this area and then head to bed. I was hitting something there. Was that like a boss's, was that the boss's hitbox or something? Also, that spiderling was on air just now. Like, just walking around on the air, what? <laughs> and now, 
now the real fight begins. Hey, okay, so. That's right. I wanted to try something. Let's see. I'm gonna try using Arc as my main weapon. And then, also, I just saw that abandon challenge button in there. So there is a way to do that. Okay, so we're gonna take off Spirit Magnet because we don't need it for a boss fight. We're gonna take off Thorn and Deflector. We're not gonna need that. Oh, it's not leveled up yet, that's true. Yeah, it won't be as crazy as yeah, it won't be quite as crazy as I want, but this should still be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so... Turns out, pretty good skill. Arc is actually really powerful if you have the energy to spare, but that's the trick. You have to have the energy to spare. I was about to try and heal. The darkness kills instantly from the boss. That's not that's not very nice. There we go. was fun oh we got repositioned so it just picked up the spirit light light automatically <coughs> I wonder if that spirit lights just gonna like time out and fade I don't have magnet on. <laughs> or returning slightly collecting money. more money just being collected as the game repositions us.
The money is still here for us to pick up. I'm impressed. Now we have the eyes of the forest. That was fun. It would have been even better if I had remembered to go back and upgrade uh, the splinter, the splinter for the arc. But this is fine. And even the spiderlings are grateful to us now. And not these spiders, they're jerks. Only some of the spiders. Okay. It's been fun playing with Ark, however. Now that the darkness over this place is lifted, we don't need Flash anymore either. At least not to go through this area. So I'm going to change my stuff, my setup back. Still missing one shard though, not sure where it is, but I'm gonna find it. Let's go back to the melee setup. We don't need flash, so we might as well go back to, I kinda wanna play with the edge again and have hammer. We'll have both. All right. So we've cleared out uh, Moldwood's boss and now there's no more darkness. There's a couple other paths we can go on here. <coughs> I'm gonna end the stream in like 10 minutes. So we could probably quickly explore these areas and then that'll be that. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to cough a bunch. That's how I definitely know it's time. Time to end soon. <clears throat> but this area down here is definitely a place that I want to go. Because down here, whoop, I went past it. There's a, there's a trial over there to get us another slot. So I definitely want to have that. Most important to have. Go ahead. Here we go. Aha, it's just behind a secret area. Didn't even see it. Hi there, Moki. How did you make it down here alive? <clears> hmm. <throat> <laughs> No, got to do it from that side, okay. You know, maybe I should try... Oh. Got you. Maybe I should try my uh, arc setup here on... Um, on, this, uh, on this fight over here. Possibly. It might be interesting to see how it does. Get 
get some more energy. That's always useful. Very aggressive fauna in this place. Those grabby plants. I think there's something like those in Metroid. But they're not super common. Yeah, that's right. The Sporb was actually kind of like that. A little bit. At least in function, if not in fashion. There we go. Yeah, that should clean out that whole area. I wonder if the trial is going to be an efficient use of this, however. Well, let's find out. Probably equip arc. It seems to work. Stay on the move a bit. There we go. This probably isn't the best use of arc, but or the best showcase of arc, but that's... It worked out well enough. Got it in one go. Didn't drop my health that much either. Like, I only had to heal like once per wave. So I didn't even take that much damage. And now we have another slot. Huh, okay. So we're gonna put back on deflector because that's good. And then, it's the, man, it's time to go back and upgrade a lot of these. What else did I have in here? Oh yeah, magnet. Duh, of course magnet. Hmm. And you know what? Since I've got so much extra spirit energy from all the races I'm doing, maybe this would be a good idea too. Let's go ahead and change off of this though. And that cleans out this. Right, it should. And then it's just one more little place to explore and then that'll be that. Yeah, this had the switch, okay. I was like, what did this have in it again? I don't remember picking anything up from it. Had the switch, okay. Alright. 
There is this down here. This is bothering me. I need to I need to get that. Oh, wow. That wasn't very far off the beaten path at all. That was easy. Man, the only reason I didn't do that before is probably because of darkness. That was super easy. All right. Yeah, we'll do this race right here. We'll do that next time. I just want to clean this out over here. Then I'll go save up here, I guess, and that, that'll do. Actually, I don't want to have to climb this at all. No, that's fine. Shouldn't be that bad, right? Yeah, this actually isn't that bad. Never mind. Ah. Okay. I'll show you why that's not a good thing to do. Deflector. There we go. Get wrecked. Okay. Now, where's that other area? It's just straight. Just go straight. Straight down, if anything. Ignore all those guys. Check out the water. Something we would have died doing before. There's still air pockets here in case we never got breathe underwater. There we go. And we're back up here again. Okay. So I think that's gonna do it. It's nine o'clock, which means it's 11 o'clock where you are, Avalon. So it's time to go to bed. We'll just Jedi that guy real quick. And we'll warp back over here. Next time, we're going to open up with the race. I'm going to get that race. And then I have to remember, after that, I need to do lots of upgrading. We're almost done. I figure next stream we should be able to finish it. Should be able to wipe out everything. So we just got this and the final section, plus finding that last shard. And finishing up everything. Like, I think it might even be in the caves here that we have to open up. Which will make things very convenient. Yeah, there's not very much left to do. 98 and 99%s all the way around. Kind of wondering why they're not 100%s. Oh. Yep, 100% in Moldwood, though. Just got to do that race and we're done this whole section. Figure out whatever side quests there are left. I doubt the side quests in this game will take very long. I'll probably just look at a walkthrough to figure, figure them out. The ones I haven't already done, that is. Alright, that's going to do it. Avalon, you have a good night. Thank you for hanging out, and, uh... Thank you, uh, Aeon Anima, as well. I will see you all tomorrow at 4, I hope, as we wrap this game up. Have a good night. Hey guys, thanks for watching. 
This is where most people tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. And while I would appreciate you doing all that, if you enjoyed my content, come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash trinfinitex so you can watch and chat with me while I make these. I'm a family-friendly streamer, so everybody's welcome. Throw me a follow on Twitch and Twitter so you can get notifications when I go live. Links will be down in the description. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to meeting you. 